wisps, like little bouncing magic balls. Ooh, I like that. I quite like that. Magical wisps. Oh, see, now this is a wispy one right here. So we're gonna be focusing on wisps. Now, wisps are one of the easiest things in the magical <laughs> illustrative realm you could possibly make. The main thing with wisps is, it's, there's different types, really. There's the balls of light, uh, then there's like the balls of light with like the smoke trailing, you know, like mystically, you know, behind them or around them. And we're gonna be hitting kind of both of them, I think. So with wisps, we're gonna make a form and it's gonna be a light color, either a light value like white or a light color, uh, like, a, like a yellow or a very light blue. You get your brush, either a hard round or a soft round or both. Uh, and you just get your white or whatever light color it is. I was using a white and you just put a little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of white there. Now for the smoking trailing effects, I like to use the hard round pressure opacity brush. It's one of the default round brushes. It has kind of a hard edge to it. So I'll use that as a brush and as an eraser. So uh, the brushing and erasing kind of communicate well with one another. I actually use this brush on the majority of all of my tutorials because it's, it's a basic brush. Like every program has this brush. It's like super simple. Uh, and you just make a big shape and you start with some interesting, interesting shapes for like smoke and wispy stuff. You want to make sure it's, it's not like a straight line unless the wind's really whipping. You want it to be kind of like, you know, whimsical, have it kind of float around a little bit, make strange curves. And then you, with your eraser, you'll come in and you'll try and, and maybe just cut in a couple of different round shapes along the, the wispy, you know, trail of smoke. I've actually made a couple of tutorials about like smoke and stuff. And this kind of falls along that same road. You just brush in a couple of uh, interesting loopy shapes and then you just erase a little extra. And because it's the same brush, it ends up looking very, very wistful, very smoky. And that's what a very basic smoky thing. But then you add, uh, for color, what I like to do is I'll add a new layer and I'll, I'll pick a color like blue or green or teal or, or red even, red's a good one. And you set the layer to overlay and you make your brush nice and soft. And you can even go up in the top section in Photoshop, for example, and you change the opacity and flow. You could drop those down a bit and you'll have a good soft brush, very gentle and kind of hit those areas where you want the most color. So just right on the ball of the wisp, right on the bulb. Um, and then after that, I like to just kind of come in and add maybe just a few extras. You know, it's, it's kind of, it's almost boring to have a wisp kind of traveling alone. You know, if you, if you, if you kind of humanize them a little bit. Uh, so you want them to have them like have friends, you know, <laughs> maybe a big wisp, but like surround it with some, some buddies, some wispy, some wispy friends. You know, I'm gonna have friends around here. So <laughs> make a nice little bit of wisp. I actually used um, Dave Greco's foreground matter brush for this extra wisp. But I also use like the basic round brush to make a couple. It's just so you know, like you don't have to have like a, a big <laughs> dust brush. Um, but it, either way, then once you make that, then you kind of hit the big ones with a couple globs, <laughs> a couple dots of that color overlay. And then because they're all kind of grouped together, they can all share a, a sort of very soft, but large uniform light source. So I'll hit like the main group of them with a really big, um, soft, like blue overlay. Just, just one whoom, big sweep. And it kind of gets the entire group and it makes them all, you know, a little extra luminescent. But that's about it. Like I said, this is the most basic one. I've already recorded, like uh, we did this on stream. So I've got shadow magic, lightning, uh, magical circles and this was the first one we did and it was the most basic someone requested wisps so again feel free to come on by the stream on Thursdays I'm thinking and we'll do tutorials we'll go over like how to make a sword how to draw this that and the other and because I have a lot of these tutorials already here on YouTube uh, I won't have to go for the basics while we're on stream so we can do a little more advanced stuff and you know, everything else is pretty much covered. So thank you all to my amazing patrons, as well as now I would like to add my Twitch subs. I would like to add that to the group. So thank, so thank you to my patrons and Twitch subs. You make this whole thing possible. I've moved, by the way. I'm now in a place where I am able to make content full time for the most part. So I'm <laughs> sorry for my absence, uh, but I'll be doing a lot of streams and YouTube videos 
all rolled into one, kind of like this, but I'll also be talking about more in-depth stuff, like industry things. So i uh, sorry for the little life update for those really not interested, but look forward to the rest of the art tutorials that are coming up. Magic art tutorials, I should say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.